got a 2009 Volkswagen Jetta. So just want to show you guys here the quick fall code that I'm experiencing. I go in the car. I go to start it. Right, nothing is wrong. The hood's open. Brake lights out. All right, long story short, I go to move the car. And as soon as I go to move the car, I experience a flashing brake light as such from a short movement. So you got a flashing brake light. Now you want to ask yourself, what's the fault? So I go to scan the car and the scan brings up nothing. So I'll be back to show you what the fault is. All right, so on these Jettas, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove this engine cover so that you can get down here and you see that little white box down there that is your fluid reservoir you need to make sure your fluid reservoir is filled up so once i remove this cover i'll show you a better picture of what that fluid reservoir looks like and let's hope that fluid reservoir is not full that way this fault will be an easy remedy all right so once i remove the cover right over here you just want to come over here and check your fluid level and as you can see, this is below minimal in fluid level. It needs to be at least in between these two lines. So what you wanna do is unscrew this. Take that out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back, you're gonna look up the proper fluid. I'm gonna show you what the proper fluid is for these cars, okay? Be right back. All right, you wanna grab that Super Dot 4, and with the Super Dot 4 is what we're gonna add to the car. All right, I'll be right back. And once I add the fluid, we'll test drive it and see if it's all good. If you guys want some tips for removing this cover, I know most of you guys are probably stuck on that. You wanna remove this right here. Then you're gonna to wanna to use a clamp, clamp this off. You're gonna pop off this airflow meter. You're gonna unscrew these screws right over here. And then really ultimately what you do is probably just grab it from the top left corner and just lift it up. Underneath you have these little bushings that you get pushed into and then the cover pops off. You'll have access to the brake fluid reservoir. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to this video help.